William Cuffey William Cuffey was a politician and a political activist. He was one of the leaders of the Chartist movement and a champion for workers' rights in Britain. William Cuffey, the son of a formerly enslaved man and an English woman, was born in 1788 in Chatham, Kent, where his father worked as a cook on a warship. William was trained to be a tailor, but he also took interest in politics. His political life began in 1834, when he and fellow workers organized a strike in support of tailors, who were forced to work long hours for low wages. Because he protested, he lost his job and could not find work anywhere. William eventually joined the People's Charter Movement. This was a political reform movement in Britain that had six demands, including that all men should have the right to vote, and that all members of Parliament should not have to be property owners. William became determined to fight for equality in British society. Before long, William became one of the leaders of a movement called Chartism, which took its name from the People's Charter. This was one of the largest political movements of the working class in Britain. Its main purpose was to bargain for better working conditions and treatment for employees. William was one of the only black men in his party, and he played a major role in the organization's growth. William was one of three men who planned an uprising against the government. However, the plans were leaked to the authorities, so the uprising never took place. William was arrested, charged, convicted, and sentenced to 21 years in Tasmania, an island south of Australia. However, William's sentence did not stop him. When political prisoners were pardoned and allowed to leave Tasmania, William stayed. He worked as a tailor and continued his involvement in radical politics until he passed away in 1870. People today are still inspired by his commitment to support workers' rights. I say you have no right to sentence me. Explore more. Read Kids on Strike by Susan Campbell Bartoletti to find out about children who worked in coal mines in the early 1900s and how they found the bravery to go on strike to protest their inhumane working conditions.